Hi, and welcome to the second video on research strategies. This video will focus on using the Stuart Library's catalog to find books, and then we will also look at using an internet search engine to find web resources. Just like with the first video, a key to any successful information hunt is making sure you use the right words to search both the library's catalog and the internet. We'll focus on the same information search as the previous video, which looked at uranium mining on the Navajo Four Corners Reservation and its impact on health and the environment. When I use the library's catalog, I can use the same limiters that I use searching databases like Academic Search Premier. First, I'm going to click on the library catalog link here, and that takes me to the advanced search features of the Stuart Library catalog. The first term that we're going to type in is Navajo. As you can see on the left hand side in the drop down menu box, there's a number of limiters that we can use, including general keyword, title alphabetical, author alphabetical, even Library of Congress call number. For this search, we're going to keep it to the general keyword. On the right hand side in the other drop down menu, you can see the Boolean operators that are available, and, or, not. So we're going to keep it with and. Our second search term is going to be focused on mining, and we're going to keep it to the general keyword search as well. And then our third term is going to be environment. Now remember, the asterisks on both mining and environment tell the catalog software to look for not only the word mine but also variations such as mining and that's true also of environment so it'll also look for environmental and the uh, keywords so we click on the red arrow and then as you can see there's just four search results that were returned not a huge number but that first book looks perfect for what our research is focused on um, so you're going to click on the book title and then that takes you to the item uh, index information. So this gives you an idea of what the content of the book is, but even more importantly, down here in the holding information, you can see where the book is located in the library under the call number and also the status of the book. So this book is checked in and available for us to check out. Next, we're going to do a search of the World Wide Web using the search engine Google. Keep in mind that Google, for the most part, does not recognize limiters or Boolean operators. So it's best to simply put in your keywords and hit search. So we're keeping the keywords exactly as we've been using and just keeping it to uranium mining and then hit search. As you can see, this particular search returned a number of relevant web sites. The first one in particular is a federal government site by the Environmental Protection Agency on the issue that we're doing research on. There is of course a Wikipedia site. There's also newspaper articles on the issue. And then you'll also notice that there's a number of .org sites related to this issue. The thing to keep in mind with any website you're looking at for possible research material is the accuracy of the information, the site's relevance to your research topic, who runs the site, how credible is the information, and does the organization or authors of the site have a particular bias towards the subject, as well as the timeliness of the site's information and whether it has been recently updated. So always look for some sort of link that tells you once you're in the site something about the site's authors or organization. So in this case the Who We Are link gives us a really good description of what this organization is about and that way we can better judge how to use or whether to use the information it provides. Remember if you ever have any questions don't hesitate to contact a librarian via the library's live chat feature.